Hey everyone, how are you? And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. Today's video is going to be my review of the ColourPop Pressed Single Shadows that they came out with. I have 12 of them. I will be showing you how to turn one of the ColourPop palettes that you can get when you order the eyeshadows into a Z palette. So in my Weekend Warrior palette review, I actually depotted all of my shadows and took the little inserts out and created my own Z palette. This holds 10 eyeshadows and I've gotten a few comments saying that when they tried to do it with this palette it didn't work for them. It like completely tore apart the palette. So I'm going to be turning my ColourPop eyeshadow palette into a Z palette today on camera and I'll show you exactly how I take this off without ripping up the magnet. So if you're excited for that, definitely give it a big thumbs up and let's get right into this review. So the ColourPop eyeshadows are $5 each. They come with 1.2 grams of product. They have 33 single shades and they also have three palettes that come with four eyeshadows in it. The Amanda Steele palette comes with these four right up here. And then they have two other palettes, the high maintenance palette, which is what I have. It comes with four and that would be this middle row right here. And then also the low key palette, which I don't own. They are supposed to be highly pigmented shadows. They apply evenly. They feel extra velvety soft, long wearing formula, blend smoothly, cruelty free. And I believe most of these are vegan. So I'm going going to go ahead and go through all of the eyeshadows that I own. So I'll go ahead and start with the Amanda Steel palette, which is this row right here. It comes with Throttle, which is a satin pale pink. Harley is a matte cool gray. Burnout is a matte deepened teal. And Chopper is a matte deepened purple. Those four shades are beautiful. I actually really love this palette and I have my full review and demo of it down below. I have it's the review and two different eyeshadow tutorials if you're interested for this palette right here. It is linked down below. Then we have the high maintenance palette which is this shade range right here. These four shades. It came in this ColourPop magnetic palette like I said. This actually has a range of like burgundy and cranberry colors. Very very pretty. So the first shade is Just In Time. That one is a satin soft gold. High Strung is a metallic dusty rose. Get Out is a matte cool cranberry. And Cute Alert is a matte deep burgundy. And all of these shades you can get individually as well. You don't have to get it in this palette, but you will save $2 if you get all four shades. You might as well get it in this palette. Then I have four of the singles. These are not included in any of the palettes that they have. The first one is Paper Tiger, which is a matte mustard. Next we have Wait For It, which is a matte hot peach. I got Wait For It because I'm obsessed with How I Met Your Mother, so I thought that was an amazing shade name. Come and Get It is a very popular shade. I feel like this one a lot of people wanted when it first came out and they weren't gonna release it at first, but people wanted it so badly that they released it anyways. This one is a duochrome rose with a gold flip. And then the last shade I have is Stay Golden, which is a matte raspberry. Stay Golden is I mean, if you have watched The Outsiders and you know Pony Boy and just stay gold Pony Boy, I had to get it again for the name, but it's a very pretty shade. So those are all of the pressed eyeshadows that I have from ColourPop. Overall, I am very impressed with the formula of these, but I did want to mention that they have a lot of fallout, especially these matte shades. They are so like powdery feeling, but I don't think it's like in a bad way. I feel like it's that powdery because it's packed with pigment, if that makes sense. Like they don't feel chalky, so you do want to be careful. I feel like these shadows, you definitely want to go in with a brush and then tap off the excess. Also, if you're swatching these and if you saw some of the swatches on my hand, some of these mattes do come off fairly patchy when you swatch it with your finger. Like some of them need a little bit more help when you're swatching it with your finger, but they all apply really well on the eyes. I don't find them to be patchy at all and they all blend out really nice as well. So I did want to mention that because even though when you're first playing around with them and touching them and swatching them, they might not wow you. When you actually apply it to your eye, they work really, really well. But of the 12 that I own, my favorite have to be these four. Definitely these four. Um, Paper Tiger is gorgeous. Wait for it. I just can't get enough of wait for it. And then these two like metallic duochrome shades are absolutely stunning. You guys, I swatched them already, but you guys just need to see how stunning 
Like they're just so pigmented, so beautiful. They just are my favorites. I have Come and Get It on my eyes, on my inner corner. And I have a few other shades on here as well. But I did do a tutorial on this for Valentine's Day of the eye look that you see. So that will be coming to my channel really soon. I will have more information about these shadows and this palette that I keep them in down below. So now we are going to turn this new ColourPop Magnetic Palette into a Z palette. This is the Weekend Warrior palette. And I am going to attempt to do the exact same thing I did with this one with this one. So what I did with the Weekend Warrior palette is took some tweezers and I'm just going to open this up and slide the tweezers right under here. You see there's a little lift with the insert. So now that the tweezers are completely through the insert, I'm going to press my thumb right here and then lift up a little. So you definitely want to be careful with this. Now there's like a little lip. I do see how it is lifting on the magnet a lot. But again, that's something that you have to be very slow and careful when you are ripping this up. So I am pressing down on the magnet and I'm ripping this out. So if you can see, there's just like a sticky strip on either side that's holding this foam insert down. So what I'm doing now is just kind of putting my fingers on the sides. That way it does not rip up the magnet underneath. It's also easier if you put it down on a flat surface. That way you have a better grip on it. Okay, so the insert is completely out now and I have all this stickiness left behind, but my magnet is still intact. And if you did rip up the magnet by accident, you could always just add some glue and press it back down and it'll go right into place. The sticky part actually comes off really easily, so taking this off is the hardest part. But like I said, if you hold down the magnet as you're doing it and you peel it back very, very carefully, you will not rip up the magnet and you have a brand new Z palette. So I'm going to go ahead and take this sticky tape. This looks like double-sided tape. So it wasn't even like super securely in here. It's just double-sided tape. So now you have your own little travel size Z palette. It's really awesome. You can fit about 10 eyeshadows in here. The only thing is ColourPop isn't currently selling these. So I don't know if they will ever sell this individually and how much it would be but you do get this palette for free when you buy four eyeshadows so if you're spending $20 you get this palette for free and instead of only holding four eyeshadows you can turn it into a Z palette and it holds 10 which is so much better so this is how many eyeshadows you can fit in here this is an awesome hack and I didn't come up with this myself this is something I saw on Instagram I will have the original Instagrammer down below I don't know where she got it from if she just discovered it but she is who I actually got this hack from. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in a comment down below if you have any of the ColourPop eyeshadows. And if you do have them, what do you think about them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you think they're just okay? I think for $5, they are definitely worth a shot. Let me know if you guys decide to try to do this little Z palette hack. I would love to know if it actually works for you. And like I said, just make sure you're holding down the magnet so you don't destroy your palette. If you have any other products, that you would like me to review let me know in a comment as well but i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye